Hi, this is Lee Garrett and welcome to another weekly tip video. Today I'm going to look at a popular web service that wowed my friends when I showed them earlier this year prior to them going on their own vacations. Indeed, I use City Mapper because I'd never been to Paris before and the Garrett clan went there in August and prepping my travel routes using this application made the whole experience far more stress-free and enjoyable. So I thought it would be a solid service to show you. So I have City Mapper downloaded here. I'm gonna to tap to open for the first time. Then okay to allow the location. Now a pop-up would appear here, but where I've added and deleted the application already, I think it's retained my previous acceptance. So there isn't one there. It welcomes me to London. Now notifications I didn't allow before. So there is a prompt here for those. I'll say okay and allow. Now there are a lot of ads and you can remove them with a club subscription of £1.49 per month or £10 per year. Personally, I'm quite okay seeing them. You'll see how it looks with ads today. So I'll tap continue. And then of course it asks to track activity across other applications and websites. So I'm going to pass where I'm now advised that I can join club to remove those ads. But let's come out of here and get into the application. So this is the homepage here. A map of the current location is in the top half. Then below that, you can enter a destination address to plot a journey. You can tap to take you to your predefined home location, as well as a work address or some saved places. Then a grid of tiles below that will focus on different modes of transport and present various types of information to you. Then below that, of course, we've got a big ad, but if you keep ads, you do get used to them. Okay, so let's work through this. I'm at my studio at the moment. Let's take a look at the best way for me to get home. I'm gonna tap, get me home. I need to define my home address. So I'll pop in the postcode here, then select it. And I can see a pin confirming where it is. So I'll tap the tick to accept. And we have a summary screen here of different options. So the start and end locations are at the top. And below that I can see if I walked, it would take me just over an hour and I'd burn a solid amount of calories there. It's 16 minutes for a cab, or I could cycle in 27 minutes. And below that, and more important probably if you're on a vacation when using this, are the public transport links. So suggested routes here involve walking to a bus stop and then getting the bus. Then more information and options below that as I scroll. Let's go back though and take a look at this first bus. I can see a clear map of the route there that is going to take. And the map is interactive, I can zoom in, I can check the markers there for landmarks maybe if I'm in a strange place. I can tap go here to turn this into more of a sat nav and give me a walkthrough of the steps needed. And below that indeed are the steps that are needed. So it's a five minute walk to the stop. Then the earliest bus is the number 34 to Minis Bay which leaves at 2.23 p.m. The route that the bus is gonna take is below that. So I can see I have to get off at Mill Lane, then take a two minute walk to the next stop where I'm going to get the loop towards Ramsgate, get off the bus at Holly Lane Post Office and walk home. So it's a bit convoluted, but that's the earliest option I've got if I don't drive. So it may be nice to have the turn by turn alerts coming through to make sure that I don't miss anything here. Now, obviously, I'm not going to just get up and go home through a recording to demo this. So I'm going to close this by tapping on the cross up here and then come back out. Now, also on this home page, you can set a work address in the same way that you set the home one. And then underneath places, you can set some favorite locations that you frequently travel to or are planning to for an upcoming trip. So I'll tap here, I'll search for Buckingham Palace. There it is, now I'll tap and then tap the tick. I can modify the name that is referenced to if I wish, but I'll keep it as is and then tap okay. That place is now saved. So if I tap, get me somewhere and then the star, I can see Buckhouse there as an option for quickly routing to, which I will do. That's just a quick preview of one of this week's Apple related tutorials from Screencasts Online. Screencasts Online is your premium source of Apple related video tutorials. 